Hi everyone, now this is the uh, wee fly I'm going to be tying. This is a Caddis Emerger pattern that I uh, fished a lot this year, uh, especially in the river. Uh, uh, and the River Doon was one of the main rivers I fished it and did extremely well, especially for the wild brownies. And uh, I thought I was, I'm tying a few so I, th I would show the, one, the original fly. Now this is the fly I actually fished in the video uh, and never took it off all day. I know it's rough looking but it's uh, it, you can make it easily float. You can fish it wet. It just can ideal patterns. A great dropper fly for me. Now this it's a really as I say it's an easy caddis emerger. That's as simple as that's all I call it. Color combinations. This is more the natural and brown one. Uh, it can be a black thorax if you wish. It's, it's a good a black thorax, but so it's very good with the brown, and that's why I normally I use it as a brown version. So anyway. I'm just waxing the thread, and the thread I'm using is the, the, the uni thread, and you can see in dark brown. Now, I've waxed the thread as I said, now I'm going to use the thread as a rib, so I want a good length of the waist, because what I'm going to do is start at the eye, come down to basically in line with the point of the hook, and then at the end of the waist piece I'm going to catch it in, so it's going to double it up, and then I'm going to wind it, tie it on all the way around, this point here. Now for the body, uh, one uh, colour I like is this here. This is the double decker uh, from F and F. Uh, it's their for, as you can see. And that's the colour there. Great colour. Just a nice natural colour. Some line in my desk. So we use that for the body. So I'm just going to lightly dub it on. Don't be shy with it. Slide it up, take it to the hook. Just basically, what I'm going to do, obviously, put it onto the thread, but slide it up till it touches the body, and then you can use that as an anchor point and then build up from there. You want a nice taper on it, take your time all the way up to basically you're in line with the point of the hook. There we are, that's fine. Just stroke back, oops, through the hook. Tighten the hook up a bit better. There we are, I'm going to wax my thread. And wax, I'm going to wax this waist piece again. I'm going to use that as a rib, as I say. Just come up. Just wind, you're looking around about five or six turns or so. Stroke any fibre going forward there and just come back with that last turn. Catch it in, make sure it's secure. Just trim away the waist. Now I'm going to get some Velcro and really brush the, the seals fur out. You want to brush it out. That's fine. Let's check the length of some of that. That's fine. There we are. Now for the hackle, I'm using a dark brown, natural dark brown cock hackle. Now this is just a, a Chinese neck. It's a nice colour, it's a nice dark colour. Just, when you're buying these feathers, I just look through them and I bought that one at a, a game fair. So when I seen it, I, I dived at it. So anyway, take away the fluff at the base, catch it in. Nice and tight with the face of the hackle with the front of the hackle towards the eye. Get my hackle pliers and then I'll just fold the hackle. Now don't be shy with it, it's kind of more a, as an emerger type fly, so at least three turns. And you want the length of the fibre, tie it off, uh, to at least reach the back of the, or towards the back of the body or the back of the hook here. Just roll it in your fingers just to bring it down. Now for the legs I'm using a pre-knotted pheasant tail leg. Now you're looking for six. Now these are fine, I, I tied these so this is just was a fine tail uh, fibre or pheasant tail I had. And I wanted to tie, I wanted these knots to be quite close to the end. So I'm just bringing these out. You want six. Three either side. Actually, got 
one, two, or two. I've got a broken one. Take that away. And then once I say three either side, I think there's an extra one in there, but we're not fish I'm not going to count. So we just either side of the, the shank. Not too long. Let me see. Ah, that's fine. Can they trim these away uh, and tidy up? I tie in some horns. So I'm going to use this is bronze mallard. So I want two, just bring them 90 degrees from the feather, tear them off, separate them. Just use the same way we tied in the legs. I want them slightly longer than obviously the legs. And on top, see how they're sitting. It's fine. You can trim away the excess. Take a thread to the eye, towards the eye. Now, for the thorax, what I'm using is a blend of this. This is the Diamond Bright, it's UV's uh, Cinnamon, it's from Spirit River, as you can see, all the dubbing, there we are. Now you could use it itself, or you could make it last a wee bit longer, and I've mixed in, I've got some brown squirrel dub, dark brown, and I've just blended it together, and it's there. I'm just going to lightly dub it on. Slide it up. And I'm going to wind from, say a bit, just slightly, from the head up, obviously. And to stretch it out, I'm going to be quite loose with it. Tighten when I need to. And don't be shy with the, the dubbing. The way end at the eye, the eye of the hook, take away the excess. I want to be able to brush some of this out. And then draw back what you don't need. Keep it tight, don't just keep the thread tight, put some varnish on your thread and what finish. Tie it off, I'll trim away. Now you want to bring some of the dubbing out. I know it looks a bit rough, but once you you really need to get the velcro, just be careful with your legs and don't catch them. All the way around. I mean, it's got to be rough. Uh, this is what makes it the fly. You can bring it up close to the surface, and there we are. So that's it. Looks all right. It's a lovely part. These are great to fish, both in the loch and uh, in the river. Uh, I mean, I fish. I mean, I, I do fish a lot in the river uh, this size. Uh, as I say, it's a great dropper fly. Uh, I mean, you could you could fish it just as a dry itself. It will still work. But as uh, in a team with other flies, it just it's great, absolutely nice. great fly to fish, and certainly catches the um, catches for me. And uh, as I say, it is a good loch part and it's a good loch style fly. And uh, Again, it would even represent midge as much as the caddis pupa or caddis coming off. Uh, these colours work. So anyway, there we are. So I hope you enjoyed that. And again, if you enjoy the videos, please please subscribe uh, if, if you haven't anyway. Uh, it does help the channel and thank you for watching.